Good evening, welcome to the National Board of Comments on I'm a Rasta for Life. Hope you all are having a wonderful morning, <laughs> evening. And um, I wanted to talk about something in reference to what's being spoken about um, on social media with, you know, the school children having a spiritual attack. Okay, well, you know, that's very sensitive when it comes to children. So, um, I just want to read something in Corinthians. I'll let you find it yourself, but it's in Corinthians because sometimes people just want to gather information and then go take it for themselves, but they don't want to look for the information themselves. But on I'm a Rasta for Life, the National Board of Comments, we always have the information. Please remember to click the subscription button and press the like. I know I might have reoccurring people who's already done that, which is okay. But you new people who's coming over, it would be very great, greatly appreciated if you would press the like button. I noticed that, you know, ones are not pressing the like button. I'm not here on social media to gain anything but, you know, to share knowledge. So, everybody else presses like buttons, but with me for some reason... You guys don't want to press the like button because what? You don't like the content I'm producing? Well, if you don't like the content, you shouldn't be over here watching it. Good? So, I would prefer you press the like button. It helps the algorithms and so forth and so forth. I'm not gaining anything. Great? I, I only have 93 subscriptions. I don't think I'm a threat to anyone right now. On I'm a Rasta for Life, the National Board of Comments on YouTube. What then shall we say, brethren, when you come together? Everyone has a hymn or a word of instruction, a revelation a tongue, or an interpretation. All of these must be done for the strengthening of the church. If anyone speaks in a tongue, two, or at the most three, should speak one at a time. And someone must interpret. If there is no interpreter, the speaker should keep quiet in the church and speak to himself and the Almighty. Two or three prophets should speak and the others should weigh carefully what is said. And if a revelation comes to someone who is sitting down, the first speaker should stop. For you can all prophesy in turn so that everyone may be instructed and encouraged. The spirits of prophets are subject to the control of prophets. For the Almighty is not a God of disorder, but of peace. As in all the congregations of the saints, women should remain silent in the churches. They are not allowed to speak, but must be in submission as the law says, if they want to inquire about something, 
they should ask their own husbands at home. For it is disgraceful for a woman to speak in the church. Did the word of the Almighty originate with you? Or are you the only people it has reached? If anybody thinks he is a prophet or spiritually gifted, let him acknowledge that what I am writing to you is the Lord's command. If he ignores this, he himself will be ignored. Therefore, my brethren and sistren, be eager to prophesy and do not forbid speaking in tongues. But everything should be done in a fitting and orderly way. So what it's saying is that in some manuscripts, if he is ignorant of this, let him be ignorant. Good. So The spirits of the prophets are subject to the control of prophets. For the Almighty is not a God of disorder, but of peace. And this reference in speaking in tongues is about different languages. And that it needs interpretation by one or two people good that's languages when you read the bible you have to read with understanding it's very important so now I'm looking for speaking. But it's dark in here, spear, spear. Okay, so let me look. I hope you're having a good day. I'm just looking at something. Just give me a minute. Take a break. I'm just looking, so I'm reading from the Bible, so um, I'm cross-referencing something here. So that's what I'm doing, just give me a minute. On I'm a Rasta for Life National Board of Comments. Um, so...
Yeah, that's in Corinthians. Okay, so I was just reading in Corinthians um, about speaking in tongues. But when you're actually speaking in tongues, it's not a practice that is um, acknowledged by the Father because when you do that, nobody knows what's being said. And in a case of that, the only person who's being edified is you. And that can happen. Good? So when you see one speaking in tongues, and they think it's like, you know, something spiritual. It's, it's not. Because it's based on confusion. And the Almighty does not deal with confusion. So. In Isaiah. 28 11 very well then with foreign lips and strange tongues the almighty will speak to this people to whom he said this is the resting place let the weary rest Good. Okay. So I'm trying to locate the one about the actual speaking in tongues. And it basically tells you that if you're doing that, then everybody has to be edified about what you're saying. And if they don't know what you're saying, and if you can't tell them what it is that you're saying, or what the message is, or what did you receive because you were speaking in tongues, then it makes no sense. Because then you're the only person who's being edified by that experience. And that is in itself confusion according to the almighty now when i find that i'm going to read it but right now i just wanted to read that portion about speaking in tongues and in corinthians it explains that in this reference it's different <laughs> I'm sorry oh my god it's different languages it's not a spiritual event when it's when it's a spiritual event then you have to be able to have all who's hearing you also be edified right by what you're saying and you should be able to have a message out of that um, um. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm clearing my throat. Not realizing that um, I'm on the video.
When these people or a prophet or a priest ask you, what is the oracles of the Lord? Say to them, what oracle? I will forsake you, declares the Lord. If a prophet or a priest or anyone else claims, this is the oracle of the Lord. I will punish that man and his household. This is what each of you keeps on saying to his friend or relative. What is the Lord's answer? Or what has the Lord spoken? But you must not mention the oracle of the Lord. Again, because every man's own word becomes his oracle and so you distort the words of the living God the Lord Almighty our Father this is what you keep saying to a prophet what is the Lord's answer to you or what has the Lord spoken although you claim this is the oracle of the Lord. This is what the Lord says. You use the words. This is the oracle of the Lord. Even though I told you that you must not claim. This is the oracle of the Lord. Therefore, I will surely forget you. And cast you out of my presence, along with the city I gave you and your fathers. I will bring upon you everlasting disgrace, everlasting shame that will not be forgotten. And that's in Jeremiah. Okay, so um, I just wanted to do that little reading on speaking in tongues and the variations of that. And the important message is that when you are speaking in tongues, you have to have a message that comes out of that. And not only you alone are to be edified, everyone who is hearing has to also be edified because you now have to be able to tell a message or something from you speaking in tongues in order for everyone to be edified. On I'm a Rasta for Life, the National Board of Comments. Because our Father in Zion, He does not deal with confusion.